This is a video about removing brackets. Remove the brackets and simplify each of these. In the first question, we note that there are four different parts that we want to multiply. The 2x, the minus 3, 3x and the minus 4. We want to multiply the 2x by the 3x, and the 2x by the minus 4. We also want to multiply the minus 3 by the 3x and the minus 3 by the minus 4. So everything in the first bracket by everything in the second bracket. To do this and make this easier for ourselves, it's easy if we rewrite this by separating the terms in the brackets. What this means is we want to multiply 2x by each of the terms in the second bracket. So 2x by, we'll write out the second bracket again. And also we want to multiply minus 3 by each of the terms in the second bracket. So minus 3 by 3x minus 4. So we've just rewritten the thing by separating it. The second step now is we are ready to multiply. So we want to multiply these out. So I'm going to write this down. Step 2, we multiply out these brackets. Now, how do we do that? How do we multiply? Well, to multiply, there are three things we must be aware of. The sign, the number, and the letters. We think about each of these three things separately. And that will stop us from making mistakes. So firstly, if we want to multiply 2x by 3x, these are both positive numbers, so multiplying positive numbers will give us a plus answer, so the sign will be plus or positive. 2 by 3, well, 2 3s are 6, so the number part is 6. And x by x would be x squared. We have not just a single x, but x by x is x squared. Now we want to multiply the 2x by the minus 4. What's the sign this time? Well, it's a 2x or plus 2x by a minus 4, and plus multiplied by minus gives a sign of minus. 2 4s are 8. And the letter the same as x, it's not multiplied by a second x, so it's just x. Minus 3 multiplied by 3x, the sign is minus. 3 by 3 is 9, and the letter is x. Minus 3 by minus 4, minus multiplied by minus gives us a plus sign. And 3 4s are 12, so the answer to this part is minus 3 by minus 4 is plus 12. So do that carefully. It's there, it's with the signs and mistakes usually will be made. And the last part is we want, to we want to simplify this. Simplify means we're allowed to add or subtract the like terms. So let's identify, are there any like terms here? Well, we have four different terms. The first term is a 6x squared, but we see there are no other x squared terms. We have a minus 8x and a minus 9x, so they are like terms, and we have a constant number 12 at the end. So we could simplify this by adding the minus 8x and the minus 9x, which will be minus 17x. So the answer is 6x squared minus 17x plus 12. Okay, the second example. Again, we're going to separate, multiply, and simplify. I want to multiply, note the terms, there's a 2x, a minus 4, and I want to multiply each of these by everything in the second bracket. So we're going to separate first. We're going to write 2x, and we're going to multiply that by each of the terms in the second bracket, x squared minus 3x plus 5, and also minus 4 is going to be multiplied by x squared minus 3x plus 5. Okay, so we're going to multiply this out carefully. And let's remember, when we multiply, there's three things we're aware of. What's the sign, what's the number, and what are the letters? So starting off, we want to multiply 2x by x squared. So how do we do this? Well, the sign is plus because they're both positive numbers. 2 by 1 is 2, and x by x squared would be x to the power of 3, or x cubed. 2x by minus 3x, well this time the sign will be minus. 
2 by minus 3 is minus 6 and x by x is x squared. 2x by plus 5, well this would give us plus 10x. And I'm not going to continue drawing these lines, we'll just work out the rest. At minus 4 by x squared, the sign is minus, the number is 4 and the letter part is x squared. Minus 4 by minus 3x, minus by minus is plus, 4 trees are 12 and the letter is x. Minus 4 by plus 5 will be minus 20. And then we want to simplify these terms. So we identify that we have an x cubed term, 2x cubed. We have two x squared terms. We have two terms with x. And lastly, we have a constant with minus 20 at the end. So simplifying this, we have two x cubed terms. Minus 6x squared minus 4x squared will be minus 10x squared. Plus 10x plus 12x, well that will be plus 22x. And we have a constant term minus 20. Now, this is how we do these two questions. Now, we're going to show two more examples in a minute. If you wish to pause the video uh, as we do these, you could do that as well. I'm going to explain this one. Okay, find a product of 2x plus 4 and x plus 3. So the first step we remember is that we want to separate. What we mean by this is we want to multiply 2x and separately this plus 4 by each of the terms in the second bracket, x plus 3. So we write this as 2x to be multiplied by x plus 3 and plus 4 to be multiplied by x plus 3. Now we're ready for step two. Step two is that we're going to multiply this out. Let me write that down. What I mean by multiply is I want to multiply. Think about the sign, the number, and the letter are letters. So 2x by x would be plus 2x squared. 2x by plus 3 is plus 6x. Plus 4 by x is plus 4x and plus 4 by plus 3 is plus 12. The last step is, I'm trying to see, can I simplify this? Are there any terms that are like terms so that I could add or subtract them? So let's identify what types of terms we have. We have one of the x squared terms, we have two x terms, and we have a plus 12. So you can add the plus 6x and the plus 4x give us plus 10x and this is the only simplifying we can do. So the answer is 2x squared plus 10x plus 12. Okay, here's the last example. Exam again, if you wish to pause the video for a minute, you could do that to see can you get it right yourself. So I want to expand this. What I mean by that is I want to multiply 3x squared and the minus 4 separately against each of the terms in the last bracket. So to do this, step one is I want to separate this. So I'm writing out my steps. So I'm going to multiply 3x squared to be multiplied by 2x squared minus 3x plus 2. And also minus 4, I want to multiply that by 2x squared minus 3x plus 2. The second of our three steps is that we want to multiply this out. By multiply, I mean I want to think what is the sign, what is the number, and what is the letter. The first term is plus 3 twos are 6. x squared by x squared is x to the power of 4. The second term I have will be minus 3 threes are 9, and it's x cubed because x squared by, by x. Next term is plus 6x squared. Next one is going to be a minus, 2 fours are 8, and the letter is x squared. The next term minus by minus is going to give us a plus. 3 fours are 12, so the number is 12, and there's an x there, so the letter is x. The last one, minus by plus, is minus, and 4 twos are 8, sign number letter. The third part of this, then, is I want to simplify. Are there any terms that are like terms that I could add or subtract them? 
So let's identify the types of terms I have. I have an x to the power of 4 term. I have an x to the power of 3 term. I have two of these x squared terms, 6x squared and minus 8x squared. I have an x term, 12x, and I have a constant number at the end. So the only things that I can add here are the 6x squared and the minus 8x squared. So my final answer is going to be 6x to the power of 4 minus 9x to the power of 3. Can't do anything with these. 6 minus 8 is minus 2. So it would be minus 2x squared. And I have plus 12x and minus 8 still. Okay, so that's how we do these questions. We separate, multiply, and simplify. I hope that you found this video useful. Be very careful with your signs in particular when doing this. Thank you for watching.